Hi students, uh, let's continue with this error controlling mechanisms uh, in the data link layer. So uh, in the previous video, I just explained uh, the sliding window uh, protocol interaction and with an example. So this go back and ARQ and the selected selective repeat uh, both or the sliding window protocols. Okay, now let's see go back and ARQ in this video. Go back N. So what is the N here indicate? N indicates the number of frames that you are going to be sent. Okay, suppose the seven frames, the seven frames that the sender can send at a time. Okay, so the main difference between the stop and wait protocol and the sliding window protocol is the stop and wait can send only one frame or one data at a time. Okay, but in the sliding window protocol, you can send uh, a several frames can be sent before receiving the acknowledgement and stop and wait one whenever the sender send one packet the sender has to wait until receives the acknowledgement but here the sender can send several frames before receiving the acknowledgement so in the go back and several frames are sent before receiving the acknowledgement before receiving acknowledgement okay so here you have to remember one note that was whatever the n here this n should be greater than one suppose if n is equal to one means only one packet can be sent and uh, receiver is sending uh, here the sender and the receiver if only one packet is sent after further packet uh, receives the acknowledgement another packet receives the acknowledgement so if it is n is equal to one means it is simply stop and wait it acts like a stop and wait. So whenever the n is greater than 1, okay, so here the uh, window size should, sender window size should be, window size is 1. Means in the sender window size, its size is 1, but here the size contains so many frames. And the receiver window size is also 1. Receiver window size is also one. So it is a mechanism. This go back and is a mechanism to detect and control the error in data link layer. So that's what I said. So this is used for error controlling and detecting in the data link layer. So during transmission from sender to the receiver, uh, the frames between a uh, sender and the receiver. So suppose if the frame is damaged, lost or acknowledgement is lost then action is performed by the sender and the receiver is let's uh, just seeing an so let's see the uh, example so that you will clearly understand what the exact concept of go back and protocol let me take the fresh page so let's take here the sender i'm just explaining the concept of uh, go back and arq sender and the receiver so here the sender first sends the uh, several frames can be sent at a time. So data 0, let's take data 0 and sends data 1 and sends data 2. It's sending, the sender is sending the data, whatever the data, how many, based on the frames, how many frames that, uh, that window consisting of those data is sending. So at a time, at some time, the data 2 is, let's take this was damaged, damaged or lost. So whenever the data is damaged or lost, uh, data 2, the sender is simply sending the data. Okay, it's simply sending the data like this. So, whatever the data that was sent after the damaged uh, protocol, so this will be discarded. Discarded. Means the receiver will not accept the data 3 and the data 4. So, whenever the damage, uh, the data 2 is damaged or lost, the receiver is sending the acknowledgement. That is a negative acknowledgement of data 2. So, with the help of negative acknowledgement of data 2, so the sender understood, okay, the data 2 is not received. So, then what the sender will do? Okay, the sender will send again the data 2. 
data 3 again it sends the data 3 also because uh, whatever the damaged data uh, after the data whatever the received by the sender is also discarded so that's why sender is again sending the data 2 data 3 and data 4 also next data 5 like this so this is a uh, go back and arq so go back and so after the damage how many uh means uh, the different frames whatever you are sent after the damage also that has to be sent again go back go back and send again all the data after the damaged also so data 0 is sent, data 1 is sent, data 2. At the time of data 2, that it was damaged. Data 2 was damaged and it doesn't receive. The receiver doesn't receive the data. So uh, the sender is simply sending the frames. So that uh, at some time the receiver is sending the negative acknowledgement that data 2 was lost. So then the sender again sends the data 2, data 3, data 4 and data 5. So this was the concept of go back and frame. So what's the uh, problems here? When will be the problem will be occur? Whenever the damaged frame. What happened whenever the damaged frame is there? What the stop and wait, uh, sorry, uh, go back and uh, protocol will do whenever the frame was damaged. So the receiver receives a damaged or error frame. Then sends a negative acknowledgement. Sends negative acknowledgement along with, this point is, you have to be noted, along with the frame number. The damage, whenever the frame is damaged, the receiver sends, receiver sends negative acknowledgement along with the frame number. Okay. Then what the sender will do, the, uh, the receiver is expecting the retransmission. So after sending the negative acknowledgement, the receiver is discarded. After negative acknowledgement, receiver discards the all the messages. Discard all frames. Whatever that the sender send after the uh, discarded data. So all the frames that is received after damaged frame. So this was the damage whenever the frame was damaged. Suppose lost frame. Lost frame. Lost frame means here the receiver checks the number on which frame uh, that the frame was lost. Checks the. Checks the number of number on each frame if frame number is skipped in a sequence then the receiver easily detect the loss of frame so with the help of the newly received frame which is out of the sequence so it just checks the sequence just checks the sequence if it is the if the sequence is missed it again sends the negative acknowledgement so damaged frame, lost frame, suppose if it is lost, acknowledge. Lost, acknowledge. Lost, acknowledge here, if sender doesn't, uh, does not receive the acknowledgement within a time, if sender does not receive acknowledgement within a time, suppose within a time, if the sender does not receive uh, acknowledgement it resends all the frames the sender will resends all the frames it resends all the frames so this was a concept of go back and protocol thank you